welcome to From First to Home. I'm your host, Scott Harris, a fan of both life and baseball. In episode one, we're going to round the bases together. We'll start in the batter's box, and then proceed around the bases from first to home. Come on into the stadium and take a seat wherever you'd like. The opening day of baseball in 1995 was April 26th, and now my first podcast episode is in the last week of April, 2021. Hmm, my first day? My opening day. Oh, and April 27th is my mother-in-law's birthday. Happy birthday, Sherry. Let's play ball and let's play life. I named my podcast From First to Home because I love life and I love baseball. As a lifelong Seattle Mariner fan and junior Mariner Pepsi kid in the very first year, 1977, I was actually a junior before junior. With a lifelong passion for personal development, I thought I'd finally tie the two together, life and baseball. The From First to Home image for me started in 1995 when Ken Griffey Jr. scored the winning run from first on a double that was hit by Edgar Martinez in the bottom of the 11th inning to win the series and move on to the American League Championship. It was the Mariners' first ever playoff series in Game 5 with the New York Yankees. Doesn't get any bigger than that. That series sparks dozens of thoughts for me. One of the first ones is, one of the greatest players to ever play the game could not score from first base without teammate support, without somebody else's effort. Kind of sounded similar to life to me. We just can't do it alone. Let's go over some ground rules in our coaches meeting. Or, my why. My why is that I do love life. And I do love baseball. And I've also had that lifelong passion of personal development and helping others through that process. In life, like baseball, has no clock. There's no time limit or overtime. We know when it started. We know there's an end to the game. We just don't know when. Well, let's call that then the affinity mindset. You might be behind in the late innings in in the game of life. But you can always put on that rally cap and have another big inning, a remarkable comeback, and potentially win the game. My stepfather, Monty, passed away in October of 2014. To be precise, He passed a couple hours after Game 7 of World Series that season. Did he know? Did he know it was his last night? Did he know it was the final game of the season? His final season? In life, like baseball, why do we fight the hardest at the end? Or say in the last inning of the game? How about balls and strikes? In life, like baseball, you get several opportunities to be successful. You get to step into the batter's box four or five times a game, never quite knowing what will be thrown your way. Fastballs, curveballs, change-up. Whatever their best is against whatever your best is. You have three strikes and four balls, maybe a couple of foul balls here and there. So swing the damn bat. Remember, professional hitters failing at 70% of the time get into the Hall of Fame. Do we learn more from our failures or from our successes? Have you failed seven times out of ten and kept going? Wins, losses, and errors. In life, like baseball, we're going to win some and we're going to lose some. Do your best to not get too up when we're up or too down when we're down. Strive for that happy middle. In life, like baseball, we're going to make mistakes. How we handle those errors prepares us for the next opportunity, the next ground ball, the next fly ball the next promotion. So don't be too hard on yourself during those disappointments. Life's hard. Keep practicing. Keep learning. Individuals and teammates. In life, like baseball, you can be an individual superstar and part of a championship team at the same time. Are you a superstar parent? Are you a superstar partner? Superstar spouse? or employee, or employer, family member? Are you a contributor to a fantastic team? Do we bring our best every day, showing up early and prepared? Sacrifices. In life, like baseball, we may be asked to sacrifice personal gain to better the team. 
sacrifice bunts, sacrifice fly balls to advance the runners. <laughs> As a parent listening to this, you can relate to sacrifice, right? Coaches, umpires, and what we can control. In life, like baseball, you score when the opposition controls the ball. In most sports, you score when you have the ball. In life, we strive to be successful when someone else controls the ball. Who owns your ball right now? Who controls the ball in your life today? Your family? Your employer? Your client? Your industry? Your school? Or what other outside influence? We will always find a way when the need is great enough. In life, like baseball, we have umpires making decisions that may or may not go our way. We still press on. Have you ever seen an umpire change their call without technology assistance? Nope. In life, like baseball, we have coaches. Who's coaching you? Who challenges you to be a better version of yourself today? Are we open to criticism? Are we available to improving each day by performing at the fundamentals of life to put us into a peak state? Who's your higher power? Now that the ground rules of life and baseball parallels have been announced, let's step into the batter's box. Everything starts at home. So get comfortable at home. Take a look around. Take a look at maybe the competition. Take a look at your options. Know that everything starts and finishes at home. The 1995 Mariner opening lineup stepping into the batter's box that season were Mike Blowers, Darren Bragg, Jay Buhner, who we acquired in December of 94 from those Yankees, Joey Cora, Ken Griffey Jr., our superstar in his sixth season. Felix Fermin, Randy Johnson, the hard-throwing lefty. Edgar Martinez, the best all-around hitter I've ever seen until Ichiro came to town in 2001. Dan Wilson. More details on the 95 team later. They did go 5-1 and one in that first week of the season. Leaving the batter's box and heading to first base. The first step is to start. Whatever it is, just start. Figure out the details later. Let's head back to the end of our story in 1995. It's the bottom of the 11th inning, and the Mariners are down by one run. Joey Cora bunts his way to first base doing whatever it takes. Our superstar, Ken Griffey, hits a single into right field, advancing Joey to third with Edgar Martinez walking to the plate. Now with our superstar stranded on first, as most of us can relate... We've been stuck at one point or another. What a helpless feeling. He, like us, need others to push us across home plate, to score, to have success. Who supports your efforts? Who's your favorite life teammate? And will they help you score? Instead of once upon a time, let's fast forward to the end of the story. It's 1995 and the Seattle Mariners are playing the New York Yankees in Game 5 of the playoff series tied two games to two. And the winner's moving on to the American League Championship Series. After nine innings, the game's tied 4-4. In the top of the 11th inning, the Yankees score a run going ahead 5-4. With Joey Cora on third base and our superstar Ken Griffey Jr. on first base, at bat arguably one of the greatest hitters of all time, Edgar Martinez. Edgar smashes a line drive into left field corner. Joey scores easily, and Griffey's round in second base, picking up speed, coming into third. There's no stopping him now. He's heading for home. The left fielder hits the cutoff, and the throw to home is late. Griffey scores the game winner. The Mariners win 6-5, moving on to the American League Championship Series. And as Dave Niehaus would say it, my, oh, my, I don't believe it. And proof that even a Hall of Fame superstar player needed teammates to win the game. Can we win the game of life without others? Moving on to second base. Let's take a second, see what I did there, and see how the 2021 Mariners are doing. Already nicknamed the Comeback Kids. Rebuilding over the last couple years has the Mariners with a young, fun, scrappy team and 13-8 and start in the first 21 games of the year. 
currently in second place in the American League West Division. <laughs> and they're 4-0 in extra inning games. Several come from behind wins. What a fun start. Season opening roster is Mitch Haniger, Ty France, Kyle Seeger, 2020 Rookie of the Year Kyle Lewis, Evan White, Tom Murphy, Dylan Moore, Sam Haggerty, J.P. Crawford. Nice start, boys. Personal nugget from the start of the 2021 Mariner season is that my daughter Amber and I, and usually my nephew Jeremy with other friends, make sure that we're in attendance on opening day each year. Well, with the pandemic in 2020, that didn't happen. And with limited capacity in this 2021 season to 9,000 fans, we didn't make this opener either. We were able to attend the game three of the opening series with the San Francisco Giants, a game the Mariners would win 4 to 0. And as of this recording, the only Mariner shut out of the season. The Giants also were the World Series champions the night of my stepfather's passing. Rest in peace, Monty. And I know that you're up there telling fun sports stories and making people laugh. Yeah, it was a different ballpark experience with the mandatory mask and most of the concessions closed. We were two of only a handful of fans in the bullpen in that center field area that's usually elbow to elbow. We arrived early enough to watch some batting practice from the center field vantage point. And as a fly ball was hit out to the center fielder for San Francisco, a fan above us yelled to him, Hey, throw the ball up here. Obviously a San Fran fan. The player threw the ball up, and as it came up short hitting the retired 42 number of the Jackie Robinson retired home plate, it fell straight down to me. Of course, making the catch. Sorry, not sorry, San Fran fan. It was an enjoyable time to be back at the park with the smell of grass in the air and a tasty IPA in hand. I sure love these experiences with you, Amber. I was able to attend the opening day of Safeco Field on July 15, 1999, after receiving tickets at a corporate meeting earlier in the day. Wow, kind of lucky. Something I'll never forget is that oversized ticket that I still have framed today. We lost to the San Diego Padres 2-1. And I remember getting to my seat ah, somewhere around the 5th or 6th inning as I roamed around that stadium in amazement, still able to watch the game from anywhere on the concourse. What a cool time. Now remember, I was a Junior Mariner Pepsi kid in the concrete jungle of the kingdom. Artificial turf just doesn't smell the same. Baseball is meant to be played outside. Same as life. Amber and I did attend the official opening day of the 2000 season together. Another cool memory. Well, now that we're halfway around the bases, it's time for baseball funnies or quotes. Hey, did you hear the joke about the pot fly? Forget it. It's over your head. We're continuing around the bases to third, the toughest hit in baseball. Do you have a challenge in front of you that seems impossible to overcome? Are you doing whatever it takes to make that first step? To just start? We can't get to third before getting into that batter's box, going to first, and then to second. Like this podcast, I've watched way too many YouTube videos on tutorials of regarding, say, editing, posting, and hosting, and on and on and on. Far too much than I'd care to admit. But as a solo podcast, I gotta figure it out. I have to work through it, do whatever it takes. Practice, repetitions, daily fundamentals. So please bear with me as we grow together. I had to start somewhere sharing my life passions, ideally meeting more people with similar interests. From third base, we cross home plate and score. Today's life lesson is start and figure out the details later. The baseball lesson is that in 1995, our superstar Ken Griffey Jr. was stranded on first base. Where are you stuck? Who will help you get started? Just start. Get into the batter's box of life. Make it happen. Write it out and work the, with the favorite people that you love in your life. Who are your favorite life teammates? In closing, as we turn off the stadium lights, we've rounded from first to home. This concludes the first episode. We made it. Thank you. Whew. Please remember to subscribe to your favorite podcast platforms. And hey, shoot me a message with your favorite life stories or your favorite baseball stories. I'd love to hear them and I'd love to share them. And share this podcast with a friend, somebody that may love life and baseball.
From First to Home, Life Lessons and Baseball Stories. We'll see you all next week.